Okay, so welcome to the first exercise. We will be uh, in this exercise awarding new accounts with some Drupal points. I have decided to award five points for new uh, accounts uh, at uh, my site. You can choose whatever amount of points you like on your site. So in this exercise we will be working with rules and we'll be doing a little bit more, more than the uh, pure basics but not very much more and I will guide you through all the steps here so I hope uh, I don't lose you uh, on the way. Uh, you will need the rules UI module enabled to, to do this so if you go into configuration and don't see any fancy options here under workflow you don't have the rules UI module enabled so go enable that one. Uh, you also need this uh, the, the feature I mentioned in the previous podcast and uh, screencast of course. Uh, here is a list of all the rules we have on the site, currently none, and I will add a new one. These are called reaction rules. Uh, these uh, rules that are triggered on certain events on the site, and this one is a typical example of that. It will trigger when new user accounts are created. So let's add ourselves a new, uh, a new rule here, new reaction rule. I'll call this uh, Drupal points for... Um, well, yeah, Drupal points for new accounts. Uh, you could put a tag on it if you want to uh, separate out all the rules that belong to these Drupal point thing. Let's do that, Drupal points, actually. So we can collect these together and filter them out if you want to. And then the most important thing here, uh, what event should this uh, uh, reaction rule react on? And Here's a long list of things you can choose from, and at the bottom you have this user thing. And we have one of the options here saying, after saving a new user account. This means that this will kick in every time a new user account has been created. So let's use this one. Save. Here it is. Uh, after saving a new user account, here is a list of conditions we can uh, 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 configure and set up. but. We won't go into that just yet, but instead look at the actions. After saying new user account, something will happen, these actions. And we will add an action that modifies the points, the uh, Drupal points of the newly uh, created account. So let's add a new action here. And here is something that is not completely obvious, not 100% obvious, but it's a really important action, so I'm going to mention it right away. It's this one, set a data value that is used to uh, manipulate uh, field values and, and other values uh, for entities and, and data on your site. So, and this Drupal point thing is a field on a user account, so that's a typical, typical thing you can manipulate with this set of data value. So I'm selecting this one, and then I'm guided through a two-step process here uh, where I uh, determine which uh, data should be changed and what it should be uh, changed into. And here I have the rules data selector, which is really fancy. Uh, I can, well, I cannot switch in, uh, to direct input, and that's kind of obvious when I think about it. Never mind. Uh, here, uh, if I click here, I get a list of all the data that rules has available right now that could possibly and uh, potentially be be changed, and. The, uh, it says it has the site information, which we'll look into in the next uh, exercise, uh, with some global, globally available data here. And it also has the account, the registered user, and it says I have here the, the actual user account, the, the uh, user object, or you can drill down into an account colon and then dot 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 here. Uh, which means you have some properties inside this account. And I'm going to click on that, and then uh, Rules tells me, well, you have all these fancy uh, things you can change here, uh, or po uh, potentially change. Some of these cannot be changed, like the UID here cannot be changed, and Rules will tell me that this is not writable if I try to change it. But at the bottom here, you can see I have the field user Drupal points, uh, which is the uh, field I want to change. You can also see, if you look closely here, that we have uh, a potential to drill deeper into this object. We have here roles that uh, obviously contain some other information, some more information that we can drill down into. But I'm not going to do that now. 
the account colon field user Drupal points is the thing we want to change. So I'm selecting this one and let's hit continue. And then uh, rules asks uh, what do you want to set this field value to? And I could just type 5 here to have have it set to 5 and that's that's probably a pretty good idea uh, come to think of it. Let's do that and uh, because we don't have any user uh, any Drupal points uh, set on this user account when it's newly created so we are not overwriting anything important and um, yeah okay let's do that uh, I could do something else here but I'm gonna uh, look at that in the next exercise instead uh, and that's it save there it is uh, I'm gonna make sure that this works but uh, but I'm gonna record that as a separate screencast so you can see that uh, before starting to work with it yourself and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching this uh, screencast. I'll see you in the next exercise. Bye.